This episode of the Zulu Podcast is sponsored by Zulu Inc., a benefit corporation dedicated to the goal of universal access to toilets, hygiene, clean water, and sanitation through the power of social enterprise. Learn more at Zulu.com. And that's well, how you know you're an entrepreneur at heart, is that if you love it and you're doing it all day long and you live and breathe it, then that is it. Yeah, I have units, you know, when I open my eyes next to me, in my right side, I have super fight friends to the right, super fight friends to the left. I just love it. <laughs> <laughs> we love it for you. Welcome to the Zulu Podcast, where we talk all things poop, toilets, and sanitation. Through insightful news, impact stories, and quirky humor, we aim to discuss and highlight the critical role toilets play in whisking poop out of our lives, the impact toilets have, or lack thereof, in the health and wellness of humanity, and what Zulu is doing to help solve the current global sanitation crisis. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Zulu Podcast. We're excited to introduce you to a fun product this week. Um, we got the opportunity to interview Judy, who is the founder and inventor, really, of the Super Potty Trainer. So you'll get to hear our interview with Judy. But and, a, and a Shark Tank star. A Shark Tank star. Yeah. I mean, how, how often do we get one of those? On and not like podcast? a Shark Tank Amazing. failure. Like she, she actually she did made a deal. A deal. Right? With, with a Damien, shark. right? She did a deal with... I can't mm-hmm. remember which one, but she did a deal. Yes. Walked away with some cashola yeah. investment. It's... Pretty cool. Yeah. Her story is cool. We'll talk about it you a little show, bit after. You want to show them? Yeah. Like, we will show you what it looks like, but then... Give you a little teaser. Well, Judy shows you later on. Are you going to give us a demonstration as well? <laughs> Yeah, well... <laughs> Where's our Barbie? We should have brought a Barbie doll to show you. So this is we the... Yeah. Oops. Oh, there's some stickers. There's oh, some stickers. Cute. Oh, so you can decorate it? Yeah. There's a shark. Oh, cute. So this is just one of the many colors that they have. Do you and need me to move? She sent... These? Oh, sure. Are you going to put it in there? Yeah, she... Judy sent us pink for my daughter whenever she starts potty training. So the idea... Yeah, when is that happening? Is that happening? Soon? I asked I asked my daughter today and she said nothing to me. So <laughs> She's like, uh-uh. I think she doesn't understand quite yet. <laughs> Ain't doing it. Uh, but it's cool. It just sits on top of the... Well, you put it... I can't put it in this toilet because it's too... Yeah, so it big. goes... But you would put it, it underneath. It goes underneath here and yep. comes out the top and then... The lid clamps this down and you this can adjust the this. This becomes the seat, right? Mm-hmm. And you can adjust it back and forward. That's why we needed our Barbie doll. Yeah. It's like a little guy. Like this, you know? So you have some support. Anyway, super awesome. We're excited to talk to you more about Judy's product and excited for you to hear more about it. But before we do that, we better do our poo news. We better do the poo news. We right? better do the poo news. Right, that's why everybody tunes in every week. <laughs> and that's why you come. That's why I come just Because you're news. like, I got I to gotta know what the poo news is. I feel like I'm behind on what's yeah. the latest yeah. in poo yes. news. So poo-news. I think last week, you know, we talked about, um, or maybe a couple of weeks ago, we talked about uh, urinals. 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 <laughs> yeah. uh, as they say in Britain, urinals for us Americans, you know, um, which, you know, they're pretty ubiquitous so they're everywhere yeah and uh and then for females apparently soon coming um uh one one uh item of news is um there was actually a a home in michigan that was listed for sale on the market and it hasn't been doing so well not because of interest rates or not because of the fact that it's in michigan (laughs) the fact that it's in michigan you know michigan it's in a nice neighborhood um there's one a little bit peculiar thing that they've got going on in the kitchen that apparently buyers aren't excited about. What what would it be? Is there, is there like some urinal? mix up between yeah, the t- <laughs> the kitchen Uh-oh. and the bathroom are a little too connected? Yeah, so this is a one a Michigan home boasts for sales the last thing you would want to find in a kitchen. So they, they purposefully so put a and in a I don't know if you can see this but Hey, uh, if you're a master chef so, what? so there's a little there's a little bar area in the in the Stop. kitchen, and they've got these two, like not one, 
And two. they're a lot classier than I thought they were. There's it, a little stool on very one of intentional. them. Urinals or urinals. Um, and uh, anyway, the um, apparently the seller of the property didn't want to have to hassle with, uh, you know, going down the hall to the bathroom. Why you could just go right there while you're sipping your sipping your brew. I don't even. Right? I can't even. <laughs> Or you I got was, all your buddies in there. You just like, oh, let's go right there. I was thinking this was going into like somebody trying to be very like avant-garde with their architectural no. skills. I'm going to make a kitchen sink out of a urinal, <laughs> a urinal and like yeah. be the next design star or whatever. But these are, yeah. it, this is, it, I thought it was going to be, yeah. this is like an older home from the fifties. And this yeah. was like a very <laughs> weird mix up with the blueprints. <laughs> But no, this is like modern and clearly designed very yeah. intentional by some dude that was like, yeah. I need to be hyper efficient here. Right. Yeah. And you'd think, well, maybe this is just a fluke. Maybe they the plumber put it in the wrong place, right? Why are there not sinks on top? So you can just stand, do your business, then immediately, immediately wash, wash, your immediately wash your hands standing in the same place. That would have been maximum yeah. efficiency. <laughs> well, if you think of the type of dudes that are hanging out in this place. <laughs> I don't think hand washing is the That's top probably of the last thing they're thinking list. about. They're thinking about convenience. Right? They're thinking about convenience. That's right. You I can, just why is there a stone stool next to one? Well, that, that was sort of a question because apparently they didn't weren't able to interview the owner to get to the bottom of what are these things? These are clearly <laughs> they're like no urinals. comment. <laughs> Quite the answer. Um, so like, some people uh, uh, there are some people on Twitter were, were speculating that maybe they're like like a like a water water bowl for a dog, you know, because it does have oh, that little step. Yeah. It does have a little step maybe so the dog can, you know. But is on. there like a, but it's, is so there like a there lever? Or a, yeah. And why are there two? Mm, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. <laughs> the world may never know. This so there are no answers. I need some answers. There are some <laughs> secrets you take with you to the grave. And yeah. that is what this homeowner is thinking. Yeah. I mean, you've probably toured some homes that nobody knows what's going on, you know. Whose idea yeah. was this to yeah. paint the uh, garage a mauve color? <laughs> but, That's but, mild compared to this. Yeah, I'll but, take a mauve yeah. garage. Yeah, but um, but we know that the you know the the owner was very particular. Like the bathrooms were all red, painted red, and there were above the toilet in one of the bathrooms is just a TV, so you can watch TV, watch the Wait, game behind? while. So, like, you can see it in the mirror. No, while while you, no, like if you're to be in standing front in front of the toilet. Oh, that's right. Boys turn. The you other would way. be you'd I be forget. able to watch the game or whatever you're watching while you're going. You but know, which kind of makes that sense. Really take you that much time I to? Do I mean, you don't want to miss the play. Seems like yeah. if you were sitting down for that activity, that would take longer. And yeah. so you should have the yeah. TV behind you so you can see it in the mirror. I would put the TV in front of the toilet. Like yeah. when I say front, like forward facing. Right. Facing you. Know, you facing as you while you're, you're sitting, sitting on the toilet. That's right here. <laughs> that yeah. would make more that sense. That makes more sense to me. So but but that, you know, the the but the kitchen in such a public, I mean semi public space where you've got <laughs> other guests. And then two of them no, you know. On top, not just one. And one with a stool. You know, this old. is, the, it just so, feels like a really weird riddle. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, if you're the owner of this house, we want to talk yep. to you. Yeah, <laughs> please, please let <laughs> us know. Have you all. And <laughs> answers. And just, you'll be a fascinating person. <laughs> you to to. are. You are. You're already a fascinating person. But apparently, the, apparently, apparently the market isn't buying it. Literally. It's sitting. Because, you know, when the, the people see it, they're like, oh, I got to spend... I don't want to urine, urinal in my yeah. kitchen. I just have to, I have to take that out. Right. Yeah. So I, I mean, if you find the right expense. buyer, there's a buyer for everything. There's, I would love hey, to just, hear the realtor's spin on why this is a yeah. great yeah. idea. I know. <laughs> I was think the realtor would, selling this. Yeah. yeah. Do you think you would have a big party with a big, you know, bring a bunch of kegs yeah. and everybody <laughs> try it out and people are sold, you know? <laughs> User tested. I know. You'd, and you'd get some, but you get offers right off the bat, I think. Anyway, we'll let you know if it sells and, you know. We need one of those like selling sunset 
you know, yeah. Hollywood mm-hmm. realtors yeah. out there. One of those reality TV shows trying right, to sell right. the weirdest house. This home is only valued at $300,000. i am a <laughs> multi-millionaire right. real estate agent. Let me sell this to you. Mm. I know. Easy. Somebody could That's sell it. cake for them. Somebody could sell it. Um, since we're talking about potty training, though, mm-hmm. um, we did have an article um, talks about a um, uh, little helpful tips about... Uh, this is not as weird as the other story. Um, this is the sun. Well, again, out of England, of course. Yeah. More. The they're best the, they're, they're the experts when it comes to toilets. And so they give some helpful, helpful tips that we thought we would help you out with. Oh, for potty uh, training. For potty training. Oh, this maybe, sounds right up my alley. Maybe you should take notes here. Or, yeah. You know. Um, it says here, and this, this is by an expert, um, apparently... Um, Potty training pro, Sarah Bull, which I don't know her credentials, but wait, she's a potty training pro and her last name is Bull. Bull. Like oh. B-U-L-L. I was like, that's that's <laughs> was a little bowl. too perfect. Yeah, yeah me too. Yeah. <laughs> she probably should change it to bull. Yeah. Probably, that would be better. <laughs> um anyway, her um, she's got five tips here to make it an absolute breeze. Okay, so ready? Ready. Or maybe you've got your own tips, but uh, but I'll, I'll read we'll these. We'll get take after. Yeah. You can up, I have thumbs two up or thumbs down. potty trained girls. Okay. So, you, you, so yeah. you'll see if this is legit. Okay. okay. So um says, don't ask if your child wants to go to the toilet because their favorite word is. No. No. Um, offer choices such as, do you want to go to the toilet with your eyes open or your eyes shut? You know. Okay. And that's, obviously that's they're like, Actually, oh, I, I like want to go to the toilet. You know, <laughs> that's, that's upside clever. down or something. <laughs> anyway, it kind of makes it a game. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, or do you want to um, do you want to take your dinosaur or your car into the to-, to the toilet? You know, it's kind of like, oh, okay. Well. Okay. Do you want your toilet in the kitchen? Or do you <laughs> want your toilet in the bathroom? <laughs> yeah. Or at the bar? Yeah. <laughs> you know. Um, so the other tip: make the j- toileting journey entertaining and fun. Um, when they get up in the morning, their brain wants to learn and explore and play. So she's recommending do it um, in the in the uh, in the early morning, like first thing, mm. right? Yeah. Um, and then to use stickers, and that's you know Judy had some Judy's stickers. Got some stickers. You can make it interesting, like a different sticker, like oh, so they're, they're so they're interested maybe to go see what the new sticker is, you know, so it attracts them. Attracts them to the toilet, right? Makes it's amazing it fun. what kids will do for a sticker. Yeah. <laughs> they, or they, maybe they get a sticker if they go. I don't know. Um, let's see. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Oh, get get the little ones used to using some of their senses in the toilet area. Like, can you hear mommy's wee wee while I'm going? You know, so they're, you know, yeah, they know what's they're happening standing there while sure. you're doing it. And yeah. uh, so it's not some thing that climb behind closed doors, you know, yeah. you invite them in and they see what's yeah. going on. You know, I mean, yeah, maybe if you're comfortable with that, some people might not it's, be. It's right? a little bit inevitable with children. I, I was going to say, do you really have a choice? <laughs> no yeah. choice there. yeah. How long, how long are you, they're going to be out in the street before you're done. Yeah. Right? So you probably should. Fingers um, under the door are always funny. <laughs> Uh, it says, make sure another tip is make sure your child is drinking plenty of fluids. So they do have to go. If they're not drinking enough, then, um, you know, when, when you go to, you know, you you go to do the potty training, maybe there's nothing to, to go. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so that, you know, make sure they're, they're drinking enough. Um, and ooze confidence. Uh, if you're stressed, then they're going to pick up on that. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. you're frustrated. Um, anyway, so those are some tips. Uh, what do you th- do? You agree I with think those? Are like those good? Amazing ones, tips. Yeah. Some of those I think are just kind of like you do model it for your kids. They're going to see you go to the bathroom. Yeah. You know when they're right. very very young, um, and to make it not weird, I think is is great. My, my, I, I think I was really lucky. My girls were pretty darn easy. And I have heard, I don't know if it's a myth that girls are generally easier to potty train than boys. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't know if I just got super lucky with girls that were ready to go. 
But we did yeah. make it a really big deal. And we did actually put the tiny potty in the kitchen. Yeah. Because my daughter wanted to eat on the potty. <laughs> she was very efficient. Okay. And then my other daughter wanted to sit next to her. So we just turned it into like this fun yeah. little party. Yeah, yeah. And the minute something happened, we all like celebrated and like cheered and she would get M&Ms. <laughs> and That's it was great. Yeah. yeah, it was yeah. fun. It made it something that they really looked forward to. Yeah. yeah. Which was really cute. Yeah, awesome. So, how old is... She's almost two. I waited till my girls were three. And yeah. then it was like within a week, they they were there. They yeah. So, but some kids are ready earlier. Yeah. I have a friend who started potty training her 15 month old. Yeah. I've heard some people start like yeah. before age two. And I'm like, that's like training a cat. That would be yeah. <laughs> hard, but yeah. amazing if you can do it. Yeah. My daughter's starting to understand things. You know, she has one of these. And she loves to flush it. She's curious about how it comes apart. And then when she sees one of us using the real toilet, she's very, she does, she comes in, she stands. Yeah. She watches. <laughs> she What's evaluates. She whips out her notepad. Yeah. <laughs> she does always come around and try to. She gives you, gives you pointers. Touch the handle. <laughs> but she's a little bit afraid of the noise mm-hmm. of the toilet flushing. Yeah. It's, well, it's this, out a little bit. I really wish that I had had this yeah. body trainer. Because I remember realizing like, and this was after my girls were potty trained, but somehow they were still getting pee out of the toilet. And it's like, how is this even possible anatomically for you to shoot out and like off the front of the toilet? But it's because they didn't have any back support. Yeah. So they would be holding, like um, trying to push themselves yeah. to brace themselves so with their hands. Backward. So their yeah. little like hips were turned uh, out yeah. and up as opposed to to them. So they're shooting kind of forward. They were, yeah. Yes. And it's like, I oh, did okay. not anticipate that that was even possible. Oh, man. But this sense. Yeah. is like a genius solution that I really wish had been around. It's a game changer. Six years ago. Yeah. yeah. Well, and I mean, on that note, like dive into listening to Judy's interview. So enjoy. Well, Judy, welcome to the Zulu Podcast. We are just so delighted to have you on the show. I know we had to reschedule, so today's the day. Welcome. Thank you so much, guys, for having me. I'm really, really excited being here. Thank you. Oh, it's really our pleasure and our honor. Um, Your product is just super cool. I know I have a toddler. I'm getting ready to start potty training. And so this just feels like right up my alley. (laughs) something I need to know more about. I'm curious if you can give our audience a little bit of an idea of who you are and how Super Potty Trainer started. Okay, thank you. So I am Judy Abrams. I am the queen of potty training. (laughs) So yay! (laughs) Um, I invented the best tool to potty train kids. And the reason I invented that, actually, so let me go back a little bit. So I'm in Tucson, Arizona, Um, originally from San Andres Island, Colombia. San Andres is an island. It's beautiful. It's off the coast of Colombia. So anyway, I'm here in Tucson, Arizona. And uh, a few years ago, when I was trying to body train my daughter, you know, body training my, my boy, my, my son was super easy. And a couple of days, that boy was just, you know, body trained. But every child is different. So for my daughter, it was just a struggle. She was really, really afraid of the toilet. She really thought the toilet was going to swallow her, eating her, and, you know, so nothing, and she was almost three. And so that's a kind of a little old, it's not old, but it's, you know, um, most kids are getting to body train like a two, two and a half. She was passing that age. And then her fear to sit on the toilet was so big that she actually started to be se- severely constipated. And the doctor told me, you know why this is it's serious. Because she held, she held that the, she held, she held up for, for days and days and days, and she will not sit on the time. So um, one day, there comes a magic time, because that's the day when I call it magic. She said to me, Mommy, you know, she's on the toilet, and she said, if you sit first, I will sit with you. Of course, I said, of course. And I sat first. Then I had it in front, front, front of me, and that's the first time she actually used the toilet. And then she went, I don't know how many times a day, but... I could not be the back support for my daughter sitting on the toilet the whole day. I'm a paralegal, so I was working from home, doing things, and they were saying, Mommy, they sit on the toilet. So finally, I said, you know what? I think I have to do something for her. So I went to the garage. 
uh, mounted uh, bags uh, on, on, on the toilet and actually re reduce the toilet seat by half. And I mounted there and I told her, sit down, sweetie. And, uh, and so I, I saw that she was trying to put her back and try to see if the bag is going to wiggle or move. So I adjusted, adjusted it. And then um, that's why I body trained her for the first week. And then I said, I have an intention. <laughs> And so I am glad, I know, so I'm glad that I didn't just let the idea go and move on with my day. I actually say, I have an invention. So I use the legal background that I have. I did all the legal research, learn about patents that within 24 hours, I was like, oh my God, I have an invention. I could not believe it. So uh, days passed and then um, I decided to, you know, file, file for the, the patents. So I started con contacting lawyers, and it's so expensive. So I finally found one. He's the best lawyer, patent lawyer ever. And then uh, he said, well, if you, because, it, because you have a big legal background, if you help writing part of the portion, you know, the background of the patents, then, you know, we can do something. So I wrote most of the patents along with him, and it's such an, an amazing invention today. Uh, it's just a crazy story, but that's why I invented a super pie trainer out of a need, out of desperation to help my own child. That's that's the story. <laughs> I love it. And and not at all what I imagined that your story was. I mean, really? <laughs> no, I don't know what yeah. I was. I don't know why. I think I was just thinking like she probably had some stroke of genius where she was thinking, I got to make this toilet seat smaller or something. And no, here you are like, I'm willing to sit on the toilet with my daughter to support her, but I can't do this all the time. How can I do this? And that no, no parents do, do that actually. I mean, have you seen pictures of a child sitting on the toilet, but then hanging on something, like grabbing on something in front mm -hmm. of them, or the parents sitting down and trying? It's just, it's just a, it's a, it's a true feeling of falling in the toilet. I mean, it's so tra traumatic for a child. So I, I just remember my daughter being suffering so much. She was really, really, really afraid of the toilet. So, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. and it's really something that maybe parents don't think about, right? Is that their children, out of fear of falling in or something coming out, yeah, or just I mean, my daughter's afraid of noises, and so she doesn't like oh, the yeah. flushing sound, the water yeah. running, you know. Yeah. But that's like a that's a big reality for children, and so to yeah. to take part of that fear out and see it as legitimate. I mean, um, I have a degree in family science, and so we talk a lot about human development, right? And so in terms of children's development, it's how can we get on their level and see the world as they see it and then problem solve from that perspective. Yes. And that's exactly what you did. I always say, always say, listen to your child. And I, and I don't mean about your, your teenage year son, your teenage year daughter. It's like, listen to your child. Even if your child is like, Mumbling at two years old, at three, three years old, they have the answer. Yes. We just think that we're adults and we know everything. Like, and then I, if I had not listened to my daughter, I would have said, you know, ah, I don't have time to sit on the toilet, just, just sit or just use the body for the floor or the usual products. Uh, but I listened to, to her. So she actually taught me a lesson. Uh, and mm -hmm. so I, I just love the whole story behind it because I never thought I was going to be a product, never thought I was going to invent something. Yeah. But I strongly believe that every parent, every parent is a is an inventor. We just don't go further with what we think. But mm -hmm. every child, every mom, every dad will help their child. I mean, mm -hmm. you do what you have to do to help the child. Yeah, and we well, all have. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was just gonna say we all have no, those creative solutions to our unique problems too, right? That our kids face. Yeah. But yeah, we don't take it a step further. And I just applaud you for doing that. Oh, thank um, you. Thanks, and thanks. and applaud you for taking care of your daughter's health because that's sort of the other spectrum parents don't think about is that their children can really do some serious damage to their bodies by holding mm -hmm. holding those urges in and mm -hmm. oh poor girl but here yeah. she was your daughter so willing to try so willing to go so knowing that her body needed that yes. and what a beautiful moment of trust also Aww. Darren, yeah. I'm sorry, I cut you off. What were you going to say? No, I was just going to say, um, yeah, that was great that you not only serve the needs of your own daughter because some you could have just made a little, made a little 
invention in your garage and then taking care of it that way, but you saw like a bigger vision, right? Um, yeah. And deciding to go for it. I guess when you decided to look into the patents and, and all of that, what did you, had? nobody had come up with something similar or is it just no. wide open, huh? No. That's so amazing. Up, yeah, so what the, the, the environment that I grew up in is, uh, you know, I grew up really poor in the island, but as a millionaire, like my dad said, you know, not, not everybody lives, you know, two blocks away from the, from, from, from the ocean. So, but both my parents, I grew up with them, you know, uh, struggling, but also at the same time being really natural in tra- in tra- in tra- entrepreneurs and selling and making food. And, you know, I, I used to sell food in the, you know, to, to tourists. I used to go uh, home by home back in the island, um, selling things, selling in my mom said, Judy, you know, I got these Chinese uh, dresses, go, go sell them. And I, this is how I grew, grew up. So I used to sell whatever my parents tell me. So I used to help them in mostly food, you know, and was, and so I grew up like like that. So mm-hmm. and I also have a bachelor's in economics. So I have a bachelor's in economics. I have my legal field background. So I think the, the com- combination of all that, your childhood and all that, you say, you know what, this is a chance. I'm just gonna take it, and I and I thought I took it, <laughs> but I was lucky. I think I'm lucky. That's all. <laughs> No, that's great. A lot of people have ideas, but they don't like um, move forward on those ideas and make it make it real. And you're obviously sitting sitting in front of your product. Do you want to take a minute and show it to us? I know you've got looks like you've got some different colors and different versions of it. Yeah. So I wish I had here the fourth prototype because I have it. Uh, What I do want to cut a little. I made this. This is with the profile printer. Okay. what it is, is a steady back support. So I have the silicone pads here. So what I did is, like, basically, the super body trainer is me, basically, or the parent. So when I sat with my daughter, she asked me to sit down first. I sat down. So when she was wiggling, like, like this, I thought, okay, so she needs a back support, like my stomach was her back support. So my force that looks like this. You know, it will move, not this area. And so um, the difficult part was about how can I make it stay that it's not going to have like a port around the, the water tank. So I came up with this. You lose your toilet seat, you drop it, and that's it. The silicone pad was the weight of the child, so it a break. So when the child sits, and I'm just going to put it over here in the middle. And uh, it's a steady back support. So when the child is a little small, you leave it here, you actually have to go to the size of the toilet. With the weight of the child and the silicone pads, I'm putting like 10, 15 pounds here. It's not it's like from more than holding. So mm. when the child's a little bigger, you just I put it backwards. So this allows gross with your time, basically, really gross with your child. There's nothing on the market that actually um, reduce or resize this op- opening and at the same time offers the back support. Mm. This double back. So I'm so happy and proud. <laughs> That of the Super Pie Printer. And then uh, we're launching today, we're launching uh, the first time we have a pink color with a bright color. We took the color thunder, white color. And now we're also launching we're ready today with beautiful villain color. Mm. So the four colors of that. Nice. It's in your room and yeah. That's very, it's a very simple product of uh, uh, the solution. That offer to social music. So that's this is a super fighter. <laughs> I think I need like a compactable one to take with me to airports and things because I'm a really small person. I and... my so here's my patent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for the US and I have a patent from Colombia. I have two freight marks. And then uh, with my patents, my patents are cool. This is just this is just the, the product number one out of base patents. Um, I consider a collapsible uh, version of it. In many other versions that I cannot talk about it because I have many inventors. So, yeah, so many things are coming. Okay, so well, we'll keep our eye out. I'm just thinking, you know, like, man, I, <laughs> I really have had experiences where I have literally almost fallen into the toilet because the bowl is so large and my body is small. I look like a small child and I'm like, 
I need one of those. I need one of those for my own safe. It's awesome. I was going to say, I was going to say, Kelsey, instead of hovering, maybe if you got one of these, you would re- be able to relax a little bit. Yeah, for right? real. Though. Just yeah, a no little back for, support. Yeah, when we went to Shark Tank for um, so or a fish was aired, we received I don't know how many emails in one night with three thousand emails. We were, we were going crazy, you know, re- reviewing emails. But I have different folders from different needs in a, a few emails that really struck me and it made me cry so much when I read those emails. Um, we adults, you know, would take, you know, you go to the restroom, you want wine, we take this sort for granted, like water, right? Clean water. But one of those emails is, is a mother to a child, but to actually an adult. The adult is acting now as a child. That adult is about 45 years old, suffers from Alzheimer. And he's afraid of the toilet. The adult is afraid of the toilet. And then when I talked to the mom, because it's an older woman, um, she told me, she said, he had a really tra- traumatic experience when he was body training. So she actually purchased a super body trainer for her adult son to show him, you're not going to tell him, even though he's an adult. So um, it's just a lot of stories out there about the toilet and Body training in adults are uh, having this tra- traumatic experience. So you, you think body training is easy. It's so di- different for every child and every family. So, yeah. Absolutely. And I'm thinking also about our conversation we had with our, our friend Maria Lindbergh a few months ago. She is an occupational therapist that helps geriatric patients, elderly patients get on and off the table or on and off the toilet table too, but toilet. And like how amazing this also is for them because it pushes you forward a little bit more and keeps your feet on the ground, right? <laughs> God, no, no, again, I love it. My patients considers um, small adults. Yep. Small adults. Uh, it's so, so many things that I can do with the patients. I, I made sure when I was reading that that I included everything that I could think of, Good. not just not just for kids. So a lot of things are coming. Oh, <laughs> you know? I can't wait! I'm looking forward to it. Um, I think Darren had a couple questions actually about your Shark Take experience. So I'm going to let him ask those. Yeah, yeah Judy, once you come closer to the camera, and all I was going to ask you about your Shark Tank experience. I I watched the episode this morning and. Uh, Maybe you could tell us what was that like and how did you, I know they go through lots of different companies yeah. and very few actually make it on the show. What was that experience like? So um, I always, since I invented the Super Body Trainer, of course, I dream about going to Shark Tank. I'm, yeah, I think the number one fan since episode one. I just love businesses and I love the entrepreneurial experience and the, the whole thing. So. Um, I never thought I was going to invent something, but I always liked the show. Once I invented this and I had the pro- pro- prototype ready, and then I started to look for moms at pools, you know, around the pools with diapers, you know, the kids with diapers. I will approach the moms and say, hey, you know, would you like to try this? I, I remember I sold out within a week, uh, just really at pools, uh, the four, 400 units that I uh, manufacture as the pro- pro- prototypes. And um, and I said, you know what? I have something else here. Then I continue my life, you know, and then I continue seeing uh, Shark Tank on every Friday. And I said, I even have some videos of me teaching at the <laughs> sharks from 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 the living room. But then, of course, it was not the right time. So back in 2019, actually 2020, the beginning of 2020, I remember it was like after 9 p.m. I'm watching Shark Tank, and I'm um, like. Turn on the TV, and it was Shark Tank, and something hit me. Hit me. Actually, it was not Friday. It was like, oh, first during the weekend. It was like a rebound of the Shark Tank. It was after 9 p.m. I'm exercising. There is a little TV in the little room that I was, you know, doing something. And then I never turn on the TV. I turn on the TV that, that night, and I see Kevin O'Leary. Boom. And he's not the shark that I like, but then I, for some reason, I felt, you know, this is the right, I'm going to apply for shark time. That's, that's all. It's just crazy. It just hit me. Um, and then I texted my business partner, Chris. I texted him so late that night. I said, Chris, we need to go to shark time. 
And I uh, never heard from, from Chris. So the next day, I text him again and say, Chris, I'm serious. Let's go to Shark Tank. He said, well, not ready. He said, if you want to go, don't want to go. I'm going to Shark Tank. So I felt it and I, I just need, need to go. So, um, of course, there was a lot of, you know, work to go there. So we both decided at the end that let's just go. So we went. When was the right time? It was the right time. Like what I felt there was the right time. And then uh, together, we just, it was a lot of paperwork. Uh, because it was the pan- pan- pandemic in 2020, uh, this is the record number of applicants for Shark Tank ever. 125,000 people applied. They only picked about 120, and we were lucky. And, oh, and of course, we worked a lot on our pitch, our practice, everything. Uh, we, we were just so on it. And then uh, we were chosen. Uh, but it's a, it's a whole world poster to, to get on Shark Tank. It's not easy. But we we made it, and we both are really proud of that. And yeah, and you and you wound up making a deal with um, I, I can't remember her name. Um, so Lori. 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 Yeah. So we made a deal on the show with Lori and with Damon. Um, uh-huh. But after the show, one thing is what happened in the show, and the second thing is what happened after the show. So we ended up, bis- I mean, having our business partner with. Um, yeah, I know it's not. I know it's not one hundred percent binding, but it's at least. You know, you. Uh, Lori is great. Lori is great. It's just like, you know, we wanted to put the product on Q- Q- QC, and Lori is the queen of QVC, but she didn't see like the product to be like on Q- QVC. So, um, um, you know, she's good at things. We're, we're good at other, other things. And then, uh, and, you know, and at the end, we just partnered with Damon, and it's been an amazing experience with Damon. He's just oh. an amazing star. Yes. Oh, cool. He's great. You That's speak? awesome. Yes. So great. So now, now you were, I know on the show, you talked about being in Walmart. Uh, where can people find your product now? You said Zulily, I think is. Yeah. So right now, uh, so in 2020, um, we put the product on Walmart and uh, on the section of sit on TV at uh, the end of 2019. And we were about to, you know, we received a big purchase order, but we made the right decision to not manufacture so many units because the control was being closed. It's just a crazy 2020. So we actually pulled the product out of Walmart on um, um, 2020. And then we're only selling on Amazon and on our website. Our website is superpottytrainer.com. And then we were invited right recently. Uh, for the Super Potty Trainer, I have a history of 10 years with the Super Potty Trainer. So in those 10 years, um, Zulili uh, have found that the Super Pie Trainer is a great product. It's so, so smart. And they haven't invited us uh, right now. Like when I was alone with my Super Pie Trainer, I did a four or five campaigns with them. And now uh, in the new era of the Super Pie Trainer, we were recently invited. So we're selling uh, only for this week, Zulili. So they offer us five days first and now seven days. And we lost the Super Pie Trainer. So. That's so great. Um, yeah, what's been the most rewarding thing so far? Uh, I know you've had ups and downs. You've got through pandemic, uh, Shark Tank. I mean, what's been the most rewarding so far for you? The most rewarding things for me is, I don't know if I have shared this on social media yet, but there is a point when you are in front of Mark Cuban, Robert, Robert uh, Damon, uh, there's a wonderful um, Lori and you see all the sharks that you used to see your whole life for, for years watch the show and when they say okay one two three go there's no stopping like what you see on the show it is what it is they never edit like if you mess up you mess up so I remember when the sharks were going out at Mark Cuban I remember I was only thinking of, of my kids because yeah. I, I to see me succeed i wanted to see my failures too and they have seen my failures and they have seen me you know through all the years and then this but then to me it was a moment when i said my god you know i have to make a deal because my kids are gonna watch me and then i'm so glad that we did and, and we actually did a very really good pitch uh we were we were, we were like a really good match for shark time for for the purpose of shark time and for the purpose of in, in introducing a new product so I would say the most re- re- rewarded um, experience has been, you know, you saw your daughter, you saw your child, stru- 
you know, there's the struggle to sit on the toilet. So from that moment, mommy, I'm afraid of the toilet to Shark Tank. That's a, it's a long journey. It's a long, it's just un- unbelievable. So I would mm. say overall, the most rewarding thing is that I'm able to help many kids, not just my daughter, not just my daughter. I have helped and body trained so many kids and I'm grateful and, and so, so proud. So uh, you mentioned you have a patent in Colombia and as well. Do you sell it overseas as well, other countries? So over, over, overseas, I have about, I would say, 300 units, 200 units. Uh, I just was trying to help kids in the island where I'm from, but, you know, our main base is here in the U.S. Uh, okay. So not because you go to Shark Tank, you become a, a millionaire overseas. So, uh, you know, our team is only two two people. It's Chris and I. That's it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it takes it takes a while. It takes an effort, but we, we're working on it. Okay, cool. Uh, I should tell you, Kelsey has a, um, when she speaks Spanish, she speaks with the same Colombian accent that you do. So uh, really? she somehow That's has not a correct. <laughs> Colombian <laughs> Hispanic accent. Oh, no, no, um, I don't. Well, I'm, let it let her, found... you should you should do some Spanish and let her let her let her uh, see that. It's funny because my mother is Colombian, but my dad is from the, the Caribbean. So my my dad actually learns uh, Spanish from my mom. Uh, uh, I see. Uh, we're super glad, and uh, you were. I mean, you're sort of the American dream, right? You come to the United States, come to America. You wind up on Shark Tank of all places, right? I mean, what could be better than that? You've got your, you got a, you got patents, and you got a company. I mean, it's uh, we're super glad you're. Uh, willing to spend time with us and uh, of course we at zulu we're all about we're all about toilets and sanitation and um making people's lives better and how, yeah. how old is your daughter if you don't mind me asking that was what 10 years ago and she's uh, probably was, older yes, now. So i invented this 10 years ago 10 she years was, so yeah so she's uh 13 she just turned 13 um okay yeah. so so I'm sure that's always a story that, uh, hey, how did your, how did your, how did your mom's company become so successful? And it's like, well, it's, uh, all my credit, right? <laughs> but, and to yeah. your credit for having so much hard work, that's a lot of work you put into the company. It's so. a lot of work. It gets started, like my kids, my, my kids cannot do the super fight training. I've talked about the super fight training all day long. I just love it. I just love yeah. what I'm doing. <laughs> And that's well, how you know you're an entrepreneur at heart is that if you love it and you're doing it all day long and you live and breathe it, then that is it. Yeah. I have you, Ness, you know, when I open my eyes next to me, in my right side, I have super fight trainers to the right, super fight trainers to the left. I just love it. <laughs> <laughs> we love it for you. Yeah. Judy, thank you so much for being on the Zulu Foodcast. We are excited to have more conversations with you in the future and continue to stay connected in this toilet sanitation space. It's yeah. I would, I would like to reach out to, to you, Chelsea, and then talk about your, your background. Maybe we, we can do something together. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Yeah, and send me your address so I can send you a super fight trainer. I will. My girl will be, she'll be, hopefully that will help rid her of her fear of the toilet too. She'll like be interested in it rather than like yes. yeah, hesitant around it. Yes. And it's actually pretty super fight trainer as a as a as a point. So that's why I created this uh seekers. I designed the seekers. Cute. Yeah. <laughs> She'll love those. Yeah, because you know if this is a toy, I wanted to feel like you know I can they decorate my own toy. So this is why absolutely you know, really and I have a message here and it says, um, I'm smart. I love myself. I don't give up. I'm a fighter. I can do anything. This is, this is the main that I have here. Lessons from the day on my toilet seat. How, how would I know? That's amazing. I'm there for it. Thank you for ha- having me. I really, really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, we'll chat with you later. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye. Thanks, Judy. Talk Bye. to you. Hey, Judy. Just she's awesome. I mean, she just has so much like life and passion for this project, and it just oh, yeah. it comes through. Well, it's cool yeah. that she sort of. I mean, kind of like um, Rob with Washi, you know, yeah, with, with experiencing with their child some issue, right? Mm-hmm. And it's got to be a better way in your garage. Yep, tinkering away, making. I think she made it out of wood and figured it out. Like, and yep. then to take it from there, from idea to you know, 
actually an, a, a commercial product and going to Shark Tank and yeah. all of that. It's just an amazing journey. You know? Yeah. And I, to hold so much confidence. I just, and I just love parents who take matters into their own hands. Like, yeah, yeah. I can't oh. find this on the market. My kid needs it. I'm going to figure it out. And that's Judy 1000%. I mean, she really was just like, yeah. My daughter needs this and it's just going to have to happen and I'm going to have to be the one to do it. <laughs> so lawyer by day, inventor by night. Yeah. Amazing. Like incredible. And so many, so many families have benefited from it. And I can't wait until my daughter does have an interest. And then, yeah, I mean. It's, you're going to save yourself a lot of time cleaning pee off the floor. Yeah. That's right. She well, did pee on the not. floor this week. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm already looking forward to that. <laughs> Yes, but it is. It's going to be so helpful. You know, I was telling Judy, um, just as our listeners just heard that really I can't can't speak volumes enough to how helpful this is, especially as like a petite person. <laughs> Some toilets are yeah. just really big. And so, you know, I put myself in, in a child's shoes. They're much smaller than I am. We can empathize better than most adults. So yes. Why, why I was going to say, you, I, you, I am still child size a little bit. <laughs> well, you two might use this yourself. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Because some, well, some bowls are pretty big. I it think does kind of make you think, why don't they have some customizable aspects of a toilet? Because not yeah. all tushies are the same size or the it's same true. height or whatever. Yeah. And there is zero customization. So yeah. you're stuck with what you get and yep. it's usually too tall. Yeah. Depending on how you're long, how long you're there, like your feet can fall asleep. <laughs> yep, had that happen for sure. True, yeah. You should try this out with the squatty potty and just kind of yeah. get the right, <laughs> get, get the right angle, get the right fit, you and know. then glue it in place. Yeah, yes. make sure. Yeah. The thing I was thinking about before we started our our chat here tonight was when is somebody going to come up with like a little back massager? Something um, for the toilet. I mean, that... That seems like a no-brainer. That seems like a no-brainer, right? Some creepy right? little hands come up over your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> they go to Japan. Yeah. Japan go, to, go to Japan. They'll has, have it. They've got it. Yeah. That yeah. is so cool. Oh, it really is. Well, everybody, hope you enjoyed listening to Judy. Uh, check out her product. We will link the Super Potty Trainer in our show notes below so you can check those out. And then wish your your potty training, parent friends, good luck. Yeah, Tell them there. about this. Hang, hang in, in there. there. <laughs> and give us your, your feedback. Maybe you have, say, hey, those are dumb ideas. I got the, what works. I've and, got the expert expert. Yeah, if idea. someone yeah, exactly. has the like end all secret, we'd love to hear it. Yeah, I yeah. want to know how you started training your 15 month old. Yeah. Training. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't want to go until four. That seems like a long time change diapers. So we're open. We're yeah. open to feedback is what we're saying. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to subscribe subscribe, like, share, do all the things on social media to help us get the word out there. And we'll see you next week. Thank you for listening to the Zulu Podcast. Follow us on social media at our links in the show notes below. To learn more, visit our website, Zulu.org. If you liked the podcast, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. For even more Zulu fun, send us an email with your toilet stories to podcast at Zulu.com for a chance to be featured on the podcast. This episode of the Zulu Podcast is sponsored by Zulu Inc., a benefit corporation dedicated to the goal of universal access to toilets, hygiene, clean water and sanitation through the power of social enterprise. Learn more at Zulu.com.